So many of our projects are all about content, and sometimes we have a lot of it. Back in the Stone Age, we'd have to configure all this by hand. That's what we mean by static content. It stays just as we created it. We get this perfectly designed blog page exactly how we'd like it, and what do we do? We duplicate. And then we go in and change the content on our duplicated page. We just created another blog post. But then what happens when we want to change part of our design? We want to add something new on each page. Well, that's fine. We just go back and change it on the other page too. Except that's not how it works, because this project has 400 blog post pages. We've all been here. That's static content. We have to do everything by hand. With dynamic content, the concept changes entirely. Dynamic content, whether it's a name or a color or a photo or a number or an email address, any content, it can be added or imported whenever to a database. And your design, no matter how perfect it is or how detailed you make it or how many pages you have, you just create it once. And you can pull anything from that database. So everything gets built out automatically. No more going back and updating everything one by one. This works for anything you can imagine, because you can customize the database to have any kind of content you want. With that, you can do blogs and restaurant menus and development projects and team member pages and news sites and fake news sites. But that's the main difference. Static content, entering and tweaking things one by one, and dynamic content. You can reference your custom database, you get to control everything, but the content is built out automatically using your design.